Well, when I posted the video of all the uh, Native American artwork that my mom had done, a lot of people commented, boy, she sure had a lot of artwork in your house there. And I, I have to say that you really only saw a small fraction of the amount that we keep around here. My mom was very prolific. She used to uh, drive around selling these uh, crafts that she'd make and paintings and dolls that she made. She, she'd drive a van that she had outfitted specially with a little display staircase that folded out of it. And she did that at craft shows and stuff. So I'm going to show you a bunch of her artwork that I've got mainly in the family room. But there's also, as you come into the house out here, she painted this here rocking horse coat hanger. So when you come in, you can hang your coat on that. Now, I keep most of her art now here in the family room in the kitchen. So we're going to take a little roundabout tour of that. I guess we'll start over on this wall with uh, one of her dolls here. She was real well known for some of her dolls. She had one called Super Teddy that was super popular up there in the New England area. She'd get letters from little kids thanking her for making them a Super Teddy. She'd customize them. And uh, this is also one of her sculptures <laughs> that she made out of cloth. It's kind of a stuffed animal thing. Turkey I got up for Thanksgiving. And she also used to paint gourds. I have a lot of those around the house. Here's a painted gourd that's a turkey for Thanksgiving as well. She painted these little doorstops that are all over the house. Kitty cat doorstop down there. Kitty cat doorstop there. That's her old walking stick I've got leaning up against it. And that isn't carved with that little uh, wind on the wood. That's how the wood grew. It's an actual, actually grew that way. She made a walking stick out of it. Let me see. I guess I'll take you over to this wall here. We've got a sort of bless this house painting that she did. A little pussy cat. Uh, she did this. Goose painting that I've got up for Christmas, and this mouse with the I guess it's a clothespin on there. I use that to clip stuff too. Another rocking horse here, a littler one that I keep on the phone. She painted this for my dad, and this is a taco holder, <laughs> which is. She hand painted it, and who, you know who's going to want to use that with hand paint on it over a stove? So I keep it there instead. This is to keep papers in and stuff. Duck feet, hold up there. And a scissors holder that she painted. That's where I keep my scissors, of course. And we got another rocking horse. Let's see. She painted this here. Happy R. Heart where love abides. Hearts where love abides. Yeah, she painted all these little things on plaster way back in the 60s. These are some of the few pieces that she signed. And we got up here on the wall. She painted this key holder. And over here in the corner, we got more of these door stops. Got a pussy cat and a doggy door stop there. A little unusual. We've got the original stuffed mouse that people from East Lyme, Niantic, Connecticut would get a kick out of seeing because that was the doorstop at the Mouse Hole Bookstore in Niantic, Connecticut, which was kind of famed among a lot of people who collected science fiction paperbacks. And I ran a comic book shop in the basement. So I'm all also painted plates and stuff, so she painted these that I got out recently to display. Here's another one of her gourds that she painted. I really like this sled that I just recently found too. I got this up for Christmas. It's a gorgeous piece of work that she did. She used to have hundreds and hundreds of bottles of paint around. But, uh, I inherited when she passed away and one of the reasons I can paint as well as I do I think is because I have such a wide color palette thanks to her from my paint set that I still use all the time. So here's a sort of cutting board that, much like the taco holder, nobody actually uses it as a cutting board because she painted it, so now we hang it on the wall there. And on this side of the kitchen, I have a lot of utensils on this piece that she painted as well. All the stuff in this room 
these two rooms here, the kitchen and the, and the dining room. This is all stuff I've been looking at all my life. These old kitchen utensils, like that old ice cream scoop. That's what we actually used back in the 60s, an old wooden ice cream scoop, uh, steel scoop. This is all stuff I've been looking at all my life. These paintings on the wall, they're not painted by my mom, but they got those as wedding presents back in the 50s. And like this little wind-up clock I've been looking at all my life, as far as back as I can remember. It might have been a wedding present as well. So that's really just some of it. All over the house, you, you'll see paintings by my mom and little things hanging on the wall, and little plaques. I've got a lot over my closet in the bedroom. I've got several different paintings of hers. I got pillows that she made back there that she uh, uh, did like crochet designs for. But that's just kind of a, a brief glimpse of the Nikki Sanford art gallery that I still kind of maintain here in the family room here in LJ. So she was very prolific and she, uh, her art's held up pretty well. We, we, we take good care of it, keep them nice and clean. I, I rotate them around, put different stuff out for different seasons. So, come Christmas, there's going to be several more pieces from her Christmas craft box out in the garage that I'll be putting up soon. So, I hope you enjoyed that. If you knew her, you'd probably really get a kick out of that. And if you didn't, uh, I hope you still appreciate her artwork.